Tompkins Buell is the founder of the famous clothing company Esprit. We asked Susie how her childhood and the challenges she faced in her life influenced her career and her role as a philanthropist. I loved to be out in the nature because we lived in the country on the, on the beach and my mother always let me just go and be wherever I wanted to be. I'd be on the beach or I'd be climbing the mountains or I'd be riding my bike. I was never afraid of anything and I think I grew up in a time where there wasn't that much to be afraid of. When I was growing up, I ne I'd never heard of a woman doctor. I certainly never heard of a woman lawyer. You rarely saw women in a profession outside of kind of a home situation or a teaching situation. So I think now just the idea that there's women doing everything is so exciting for young girls. I started the company Esprit in the late 60s, about 1968, and I didn't think of it as a fashion company at all. I just thought that there were things that should be available to young girls to wear that didn't exist, so we should make them. It was just easy and fun clothing that, that didn't happen, and it was very, very successful. And so I got more interested in style and fashion as I did that. But it really, for me, it always came back to really supporting your natural look and understanding that beauty comes from within. And I never wanted to make clothes that became a fad that girls thought they had to have, otherwise they wouldn't be popular. Well, you know, I don't have any favorite, didn't have any favorite school subjects. And I wasn't a very good student because I have ADD attention deficit disorder and nobody knew about it when I was a student and I never even finished high school because I couldn't study. I was just considered kind of a naughty child. I couldn't really um, explain it because I didn't understand it. But now, of course, when children are like that, there's all kinds of ways to help you learn how to focus. But I think it, I think it um, was good because I think it helped me become a more visual person and appreciate visuals more and work with visuals. I think nature is the greatest inspiration. I mean, if you go out and you look at everything in nature, it's just, it's remarkable, it's awesome. And everything, a bug, a bird, the sunsets, the clouds, the trees, the ocean, the rocks, the sand, everything is a miracle. And I think if you're a child and you get into that wonder of nature, and you just, it just keeps you so busy thinking about how things happened and what made this and where can I see more of that. Just being amongst the trees and to me it's one of the most nurturing important parts of life. A strong believer that one of the greatest pleasures in life is giving back to others, Susie Tompkins Buell has donated her time and millions of dollars to different causes from improving the environment to empowering women and girls across the globe. Well, you know, I didn't really have a role model as a child, but I have a role model as an adult, and that's Hillary Clinton. And Gloria Steinem has always been a role model to me, and uh, Governor Ann Richards, who was the governor of Texas. These are all women that love women. Don't let something that's not considered the in way to be about yourself, don't let it get to you. Don't own it. Be proud of it. And I think it's so sad today that there's so much emphasis on girls being thin and girls having certain shapes and certain kind of hair and be a certain way. And I, I just think it's very sad because it takes you away from your real self. And the best beauty comes from within. I really know that.